let me reveal a few things to you real quick. UCC 3-401 signature. The person is not liable on an instrument unless the person signed the instrument. That's one. Two, the person is represented by agent or representative who signed the instrument and the signature is binding on the represented person under 3-402. We went over that in this video. The part that's significant is B. A signature may be made, one, manually, aka wet ink signature that a lot of people speak of, right? Or by means of device or machine, aka e-signature. And so this specific portion where it says by means of device, here's the why and how as to how that foreign trustee signature is validated. Simple as that. And that video that I just showed, the thumbnail when it comes to loophole of representative, it goes along directly with this as to how things will be validated. Because when she or symbol executed or adopted by a person with present intention to authenticate a writing. So when you have a trust and a trust has its own trust seal, that is a mark right there. And it's equivalent to the trust signature itself. Did you know the trust itself has a signature called a trust seal? That trust seal is a trust mark, which according to the operation of commerce, that trust seal is considered a signature of its own. Each state has their own seals. Each department of government have their own seals. Those seals that you see are the signature of that entity itself. And it's their mark. And it goes on to say, important power, because that itself, according to the rule of authentication, serves as an evidence of signature, which is reaffirmed in Uniform Commercial Code 3 dash Complete videos posted on the Patreon page. Take care. Best of luck.